Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Unreal. Lib actress sick message caught right behind Kavanaugh. Guess who invited her? Actress Alyssa Milano showed her solidarity for Dr. Christine Blasey Ford Thursday as the professor faced questions from members of the Senate Judiciary Committee after accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault. I felt like I needed to be here to show my solidarity for Dr. Ford, Milano said from the hearing room. On this day that will be very difficult for her. Milano traveled from Los Angeles to the nation's capital to be present for the historic hearing. Milano has been an outspoken hashtag MeToo activist for almost a year now and was among the first to tweet out her powerful hashtag MeToo story, inspiring hundreds of other women to also come forward. Milano, who sat in the middle of the hearing room, said she was a guest of California Senator Dianne Feinstein. While Ford answered questions about how Kavanaugh and his friend Mark Judge, whom she also accused of the alleged assault, laughed while attacking her, Milano was spotted in the hearing room in tears, dabbing her eyes with a tissue. Kavanaugh and Judge have denied assaulting Ford. Milano recalls being almost 20 when she was watching the 1991 Anita Hill hearings. I remember thinking what a strong, amazing, solid woman she was to come forward, Milano recalled of the woman who accused Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment. What a service she was doing for all women. More than two decades after the Hill hearings, which concluded with Thomas being confirmed onto the Supreme Court, Milano says we are in a different time. Women are standing together now in solidarity, she said. After Kavanaugh testified, Milano slammed what she sees as a double standard between men and women, tweeting, I will say this, if a woman were to yell, interrupt and cry while being questioned, people would call her unhinged or say she had a meltdown. Fox News has more on the facts of this disconcerting situation with a biased star being allowed at this sensitive hearing. Alyssa Milano attended Thursday's hearing in Capitol Hill, where Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee. The 45-year-old actress told reporters on Capitol Hill she was attending the hearing as the guest of Senator Dianne Feinstein, Democrat California she traveled from her California home to Washington, D.C., to support Dr. Ford, who has accused the judge of sexually assaulting her in the early 1980s. I'm here because I feel any man's misogyny shouldn't supersede humanity, the charmed actress said. I felt like I needed to be here to show solidarity and my support to Ford for this day that surely will be incredibly difficult for her." Milano also explained to reporters why it was important for her to be at the hearing. It took me a very long time as a survivor to come to terms with and be public with my own abuse and assault, she shared. And I know how hard it is. And I know what she's had to go through to be here and present and answer those questions. She continued, and I think a lot of women throughout the country and the world understand the idea of not wanting to talk about it, wanting to make it go away, not wanting to deal with it, and putting it out of our heads and minds, so it was important for me to support her and to support survivors everywhere." Milano, a prominent activist for the hashtag MeToo movement, said the 1991 confirmation hearings for now Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas built her a foundation for understanding sexual harassment. Thomas was accused of sexual harassment by Professor Anita Hill, who also testified before a Senate committee back then. I remember that was a horrible situation, it was so much a part of our daily discussion, Milano said. Milano believes Thursday's hearing could have more impact than the 1991 hearing with Hill. I think we're in a different time. I think women are standing together in solidarity, more so than we were in 91 and I think women throughout the country are not going to let it be what it was, she said. Dr. Ford, 51, claims that while they were teenagers, Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed, attempted to forcibly remove her clothes and held his hand over her mouth to prevent her from screaming. In her opening statement on Thursday, Ford said the alleged incident has had the most lasting impact on my life. Milano, along with other celebrities, had been vocal about their support for Ford. Milano criticized President Trump when he questioned why Ford never filed a police report after the alleged sexual assault. I was sexually assaulted twice. Once when I was a teenager. I never filed a police report and it took me 30 years to tell my parents," the actress tweeted last Friday. If any survivor of sexual assault would like to add to this please do so in the replies. Hashtag me too. Milano said Thursday she has reached out to Ford's counsel through email to see if the professor wanted to speak or of coffee. Kavanaugh has vehemently denied the allegations and has said he wanted to testify to clear his name ever since the accusation came to light. He told Fox News' Martha McCallum that he wants a fair process where he can defend his integrity. 
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.